Everyone has different individual needs as far as balance, and we need to get that specific with you. So we're gonna show you 10 different balance exercises in this video, and we want you to just to pick three that are the most challenging for you. That's right, each exercise only takes 30 seconds, so if you got three of them, it's gonna be a total of 90 seconds once you learn them. So again, I wanna emphasize, go through all of these while we're doing them and then you find one that challenges you or you realize, well, boy, your balance is more off than that one, jot it down and then come back and have three of them again that you can do to really get specific to your needs. The first one, you're gonna find a corner like that. And this is for safety. If you lose your balance, you wanna be able to catch your balance and obviously not fall. Mike's gonna show it right here. It's simply the single leg balance. So if you are, a cane user, a walker user, you can certainly have these when you begin. It's good to be safe and steady if needed. If you don't need it, that is fine as well. So the first one you're gonna do is simply standing on one leg. The higher the opposite leg is, the more challenging it's gonna be. Again, you can put your fingertips on a wall if you feel unsteady initially. Try not to push through it. Over time, try to let go. You're just gonna stand like this for 15 up to 30 seconds. If you can only stand five seconds and you tip over, just stop, reset, do it again. Make sure to do it on both legs. Now number two is the same thing but a progression. So you can either take a pillow if you have some type of foam pad in your house, something you can stand on, it's gonna make it a little more challenging. If you can see my ankles right now are shifting a little more because I have an uneven surface. This is the progression of number one. This really makes a big difference ever they have a pillow cushion. Uh, it really is a good exercise. Again, 30 seconds, if you go 30 seconds, you probably don't need to continue on with these. How are you doing, Mike? I'm doing fine. <laughs> All right, let's go to the next one. All right, now those first two exercises were static. In other words, you're standing still. The next two are gonna be actually moving or dynamic, we call that. Mike, go ahead, let's start with the first one. So the first one is going to be heel to toe walking. Pick a line on your floor. If you happen to have tile or carpeting, I can see a line here. Again, if you need to do this at a countertop or hold on to a cane for support, that's fine. You're gonna walk like you're on a tightrope in the circus, which Brad likes to join sometimes. <laughs> and then you're going to go backwards if possible. Try to touch that heel to toe so you know where you are. It's gonna make it more challenging with a narrow base of support like this. I wanna emphasize when you do this, the goal is to actually touch your heel to your toe so you get proprioception so you know where your body parts are. And if you can do that while looking straight ahead, that's even a little more challenging. Going backwards, that's really important. Now let's go right to left. So number four is sidestepping. So it's simply stepping to the right and then stepping to the left. Again, hold on to support if you need countertop, railing, cane, etc. Brad is doing it at the wall there. You look like you're under arrest, actually. Well, but. you know, I know from experience. <laughs> Just kidding. Now, if this is easy for you, you can progress to the grapevine. It has many other names. Some people call it karaoke. We used to do it in football when I was in high school. And you go right foot, sidestep, leg behind, Brad's ahead of me, and Sorry. then in front again. Are you go? Which way are you doing? Oh, you're doing the in front behind. There are different variations to this. If you get confused with it, don't worry about it. You can go to the next one. If you had a hip surgery, or there's any pain with that one, uh, just avoid it. All right, now this next one is very specific if you have dizziness or lightheadedness when you move your head. So if you, it could be a vertical symptom. So if that's the case, this can be a good one to work that out. You simply put your thumb in front of you, arm length distance, and you're gonna look at your thumb. And anybody can do this to test to see if it really uh, affects you. Now, in the am I gonna show one way? Mike's gonna show another uh, technique. I'm gonna bring my thumb to the right, and I'm gonna follow it, focusing on my thumbnail, and my head is moving right to left, okay? And if you do get dizzy while you do this, you continue to do it slowly with the goal of improving, okay? So, and then also some people may experience it going up, back to the center, and then down. You'll do this 
five to 10 repetitions. And if you do get dizziness with this, you wanna to continue to do it over time, it'll improve. Uh, hopefully if it doesn't, you're gonna to need to see someone specifically for that. Mike, can you show the other option? So again, you're just gonna use your thumb. I'm gonna keep my thumb in place and now I'm just gonna move my head, keep my eyes on my thumb. So first I nod up and down like I'm saying yes. My eyes are looking at my thumbnail, but my hand is staying in place. Then after that, you can go side to side like you're saying no to someone. Again, see, keep your eyes tracked on that thumb and just move your head. All right, this one's a simple one, but it's important. Your vision has an incredible amount to do with your balance, so we're simply gonna take it out of the picture. So again, use the wall. You can start with this, your feet close together, your hands here for balance. If you need some more stability, you can put your walker or a chair in front so you can grab that if you need to. But simply stand here, I'm ready to balance, and you just simply close your eyes, and we're gonna hold it for 30 seconds. If you're fine with that, I can already feel I'm working more now than with my eyes open, very clear. If you can do this easily with your eyes closed, then you go to the next step and you go on one foot. Now, I like to just go to foot, one foot down, the other one toe touching. That's the first step and that makes, you can see I'm starting to jiggle a little bit more now. And most people will not even get to the single legged because that's pretty advanced and if you're doing this, you're you're probably doing okay as far as your balance. So do that with both feet. Make sure you, together, if that's too much, single toe, and then if you get to this, go ahead. All right. All right, now the next three are functional and they're with activities. So it kind of makes it more like a daily living balance situation. The first one is reaching up to shoulder level or above, like from a cupboard and putting something down to the table. So we're simply, you can do this at home in a cupboard. You're gonna reach up and make sure you twist and down. Now, some people will have problems with this. If that's the case and you don't feel steady, you need to have somebody standing right next to you just in case you do get wobbly. But it would be with a right hand and then over. And then you wanna make sure you do it with the left hand where you cross your body. I'm reaching over to my right side. That can change things, particularly if you've had a maybe a TIA or a stroke in the past. You're doing well, but you wanna to continue to get a very high level Level, the recovery has been going well. This might be an activity that you could do, okay? And then even up high, because then you're looking up, you're getting your head up. That can change how things work in the vestibular system. Be very careful with all three of these. Make sure you have someone next to you if you're not 100% certain you're not stable. Mike, let's uh, go to the next one. So this is gonna be more of a dynamic and reaction balance type testing. You're gonna need some type of bouncing ball for this one, or you could possibly use a balloon and hit it that way as well. If you're by yourself, you're gonna have to use a ball because you're just gonna be bouncing on the floor. If someone else is here like Brad is, you can toss it back and forth, and and this can work on your balance as well. To begin, I'm in a corner again in case I lose my balance or feel unsteady. And bouncing the ball to yourself, you're not reacting too much. If someone can toss it to you, they can make it harder. You have to reach, you have to work on different angles. If this seems way too easy for you, again, you can just put your feet together and work on that. If this seems easy to you, which some clients I've had, we make them do it on one leg. Sure. And they'll do the same thing. So the next option is if you do not, do not have anybody to throw the ball back and forth with you and you're by yourself and you feel steady with this, you simply use the wall and the wall throws it back to you simply by bouncing. You start out with your hands down here and you do the granny bounce. You know, <laughs> like when you, but we call it a granny, you know. You, the granny throw the, for the free throws. Yeah. for free throws, playing basketball and you just work it like this, very simple, feet out wide, too easy, you know, five or 10 times, feet together. If it's too easy, feet wide, you can try. Overhead definitely makes it harder. These little things look, look easy, easy changes. However, if you do them, you're gonna find out, oh, yeah, that is, and if you wanna go sideways, these are all things that change, just like when you go with a partner where you throw the ball up and around. Uh, it makes it so you can, challenge yourself differently all by yourself. Again, you only need 30 seconds of each one of these and you'll have enough. You can do that the next day or perhaps twice a day. Mike, come out of the corner, you're okay now. Oh, fine.
The last one is uh, a nice one. It works strength along with balance, so it's a little dynamic as well. You can do this if you're a beginner or if you're more advanced. However, how you do it is important. For example, if you do use a walker, you can simply use a walker. We're simply going, to the, the, balance, the whole technique is simply squat down, up to here, and then up on your toes. That's a little more advanced. If you're already using a walker, you're definitely gonna have a chair behind you with armrest, the walker will be in front. And if you need to sit down because you're tired or maybe you went too low, you can simply sit down in the chair. So it would be here, hands here, and we're gonna squat down as far as you feel comfortable up. You may need to push on the walker a little bit to get on your toes. The goal is, is to do the whole technique with out a lot of assistance from the walker. You know, if you're feeling comfortable like this, you could go to one hand, the other hand close by to grab. Again, if you feel unsteady, sit down and you're safe. If you're a little higher level, you're walking around, you're walking without a cane or without a walker, you may want to do it like Mike is doing without anything. If you're not sure, be safe, have a chair, a nice chair in front of you, the cupboard, something that you can hold, even a wall is a good option. Down, up on the toes, down. So we're working strengthening, which is a part of balance, and we're working the balance aspect, especially when you go up on your toes. 10 repetitions is certainly good. You may only start with three or five. Mike, you have something more before I really take over the whole thing? No, you already did, good job. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so again, like we mentioned, pick out three of them that challenge your balance and you think are gonna be good. Now, Mike has already done that. He's gonna demonstrate how easy it, it is. Apparently, I have poor balance today. So the first one I found challenging is simply standing on one leg. Again, I'm gonna do it in the corner, 30 seconds each side. Once I'm done with that one, I found walking right to left challenging. If you want to hold on to something for support, I can just use the wall here. I'm gonna go 10, 15, 20 feet, whatever you have for length in your house one way and then the other you can do this two to three times each direction make sure to keep your toes forward the whole time and then i found the ball bounce a little challenging so i'm going to throw it at the wall because i have no friends and play with myself like this <laughs> if you want to make this more challenging i can walk and do this but there you go All right, we have another favorite Bob and Brad massage gun. We have the Uni massage gun. Julie is holding it up, showing it, and she's gonna actually use it on her arm. Go ahead, put some pressure on that, Julie. Mm -hmm. These are really strong guns. The stall force is 35 pounds. It's not good for a real, you know, like a linebacker on a football team, but for someone like Julie or myself, it's all you really need. 10 millimeters of travel on the head, which is good, nice deep uh, massage with that. It does come with five massage heads, the nice round one, the soft one that Julie has, as well as the other ones that all work out extremely well. Uh, it weighs 1.26 pounds, it's very mm. light. How you doing, Julie? Yeah. Feels great, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and the cost on this, it's a great intro one, $56. Now that may vary depending on what site you're on, but that's a ballpark figure. All right, if you go to bobandbrad.com, go to the product sections and look for, up for the uni if you would like to have this gun. All right, what do you say, Julie? Yeah, get one. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Do the ones, the three that you work, do them for a week until you feel better. Then you can change up, add in another exercise, and so make it less boring and make different aspects of your balance uh, challenged and improving. So I think it's a good, a whole good route to do. Mike, what do you got to say? Yeah, pick out your favorite ones you like. And if you want to check out more videos mm -hmm. on balance, you can click the video on the screen. 25 second balance exercises that stop falls. And there's a PDF printout that comes along with that video, which is very nice. Hopefully it still works. <laughs> Bob and Brad, the two most famous 